Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll discuss about traveling wave tube with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you how many points that I'm going to cover in this video. See, first of all, I'll discuss about basics of traveling wave tube. After that, I'll compare traveling wave tube with Klistron. After that, I'll explain structure and working of traveling wave tube. And at last, I'll discuss about parameters and applications of traveling wave tube. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of traveling wave tube. Traveling wave tube is a microwave tube which we use it to amplify RF or microwave signal. So here we have traveling wave tube. Here we provide RF input. Here we take RF output. Using traveling wave tube, we amplify RF signal, right? Traveling wave tube belongs to a category of linear beam tubes, such as a two cavity klystron. So first of all, you need to understand what is linear beam tubes. See, in linear beam tubes, at one end, we will be having electron gun and on second end, we will be having collector. Electron gun will be transmitting electron beam towards collector linearly. So here at one end we have electron gun which is connected with cathode and at second end we have collector which will be receiving electron beam linearly. Right. So traveling wave tube belongs to the category of linear beam tubes like two cavity klystron. Traveling wave tube offers wide bandwidth frequency amplification compared to other tubes because of which it accounts for 50 percentage of total microwave tubes. So traveling wave tubes are widely used in the market as a microwave source as well as for RF signal amplification we broadly use traveling wave tube. It is accounting for more than 50 percentage of tubes. The reason is it offers wide bandwidth frequency amplification as well as it is having very low noise figure. If you talk about applications, then it is commonly used in radar. It is also commonly used in satellite communication as well as there are many other applications which requires high power and high frequency signal amplification. Now, I'll explain comparison of traveling wave tube with klystron. Now, I'll compare traveling wave tube and klystron based on different parameters. So, let me compare these two based on structure first. The traveling wave tube structure is based on slow wave structure. Slow wave structure means here we have helical winding. One should know in traveling wave tube, we give RF input to helical winding and from helical winding, we take RF output. So helical winding structure is there, that is slow wave structure. While klystron structure is based on resonant cavity. If you have seen reflex klystron video in which I have explained we have one cavity that is anode cavity. While with two cavity klystron, we have two separate cavities. Input is given to Bunger cavity and output is taken from catcher cavity. So structure of klystron is based on resonant cavities while structure of traveling wave tube is based on slow wave structure means it is based on helical winding. If you talk about RF signal interaction, then with traveling wave tube, we have continuous interaction from RF input to RF output. See, in traveling wave tube, we give input to helical winding. And from helical winding, we take RF output. So here, RF signal interaction is continuous. While in klystron, RF signal interaction that happens in buncher cavity gap only. There is no continuous interaction, right? With Traveling wave tube, we have continuous interaction from RF input to RF output. If you talk about bandwidth, then with traveling wave tube, we have wide bandwidth, while with klystron, we have narrow bandwidth. So, bandwidth is the basic advantage which is there with traveling wave tube. If you talk about gain, then traveling wave tube offers gain from 20 to 70 dB, usually in market 60 dB gain. TWTs are available. 
while with klystron gain is around 60 db even higher than 60 db gain is also available so if you talk about gain comparison then klystron is having better gain that one can say if you talk about noise figure then traveling wave tube is having lower noise because of which it is having lower noise figure while with klystron we have higher noise so in terms of noise immunity traveling wave tube is better compared to klystron next parameter is linearity in terms of amplification traveling wave tube offers better linearity while klystron offers poor linearity because of poor linearity when you amplify the signal it adds distortion in amplified signal so in terms of linearity in amplification traveling wave tube is way better compared to klystron if you talk about efficiency then traveling wave tube is having lower efficiency compared to klystron now what i'll do is i'll summarize this comparison if you have applications based on wide bandwidth and moderate to high power then one can prefer traveling wave tube and if you have applications which needs higher efficiency and higher power then one can prefer klystron one more point that you need to note down if you have applications based on lower noise then one should prefer traveling wave tube so based on requirement one can prefer a traveling wave tube but one should know about 50 percentage of tubes are there with traveling wave tube in this market now i'll explain structure and working of traveling wave tube traveling wave tube comes under linear beam category let me explain you what is linear beam category see in linear beam category at one end we have electron gun that is radiating electron beam and that electron beam is radiated linearly and at other end we have collector which will be receiving electron beam so traveling wave tube that comes under linear beam category if you observe the structure here we have electron gun that is radiating electron beam which is moving towards collector over here now question is why electron beam is moving from electron gun to collector the reason is this electron gun that is connected with negative terminal of dc supply and here this collector that is connected with positive terminal of dc supply so what will happen is because of negative terminal is connected with electron gun here there is a formation of electrons and electron beam is radiated towards this direction and that electron beam is attracted by collector as it is connected with positive terminal of dc supply so first section of structure is based on electron gun and collector here we are transmitting linear electron beam from electron gun towards collector second section is based on slow wave structure you can observe here rf input that is connected with helical shaped winding and another end of helical shaped winding that is connected with rf output so this is slow wave structure during propagation of rf input through this winding there is a interaction of rf input with electron beam and because of electron beam is having interaction with rf signal there is a velocity modulation of electrons see if you don't have any rf input over here then electrons will be flowing linearly over here but because of rf input over here there is velocity modulation of electrons and electrons will be moving in this direction along with velocity modulation so this is low wave structure the reason is here we have helical shaped winding third section of structure is rf signal interaction see here rf signal and electron beam that is traveling together during travel there is a velocity modulation and because of velocity modulation of electrons there is bunching of electrons and due to bunching of electrons there will be amplified rf output so if you have group of electrons together then but obviously you will be having rf signal which is amplified signal over here and that we do with the use of velocity modulation of electrons 
let me take one example if you have three electrons early electron late electron and reference electron right so early electron that is generated early reference electron that is there in middle and late electron that is generated late now if you have higher velocity with late electron and lower velocity with early electron then what will happen during travel they will get combined together and it will form bunch because of bunch there will be amplification of signal right so here in this structure amplification of rf signal that is happening because of velocity modulation of electron beam where due to bunching of electrons we have amplified output right now i'll explain parameters of traveling wave tube if you talk about frequency range then it is available from 300 megahertz to 50 gigahertz power gain of traveling wave tube that is there from 40 db to 70 db usually it is around 60 db even up to 20 db also one can tune it power range that is there from few watts to megawatts so it covers broad range of applications based on power handling capacity from few watts to megawatts it is available and bandwidth is quite large with traveling wave tube 10 to 20 percentage bandwidth is available now i'll discuss about applications the traveling wave tube that is broadly used in radar system in radar system we need to have amplified signal the reason is if you have higher power signal at transmitter side then range of radar increases to have larger range we use traveling wave tube to have amplification of rf signal right second application is there based on satellite communication in satellite communication we need to transmit signal to long distance for geostationary satellite we are transmitting signal up to 36000 kilometer distance so to have that long distance communication we need to have strong signal and that could be amplified using traveling wave tube the third application that is based on electronic warfare here traveling wave tubes are employed in electronic warfare systems for jamming and other signal amplification tasks so as and when we want jamming then one can have random signal generation using traveling wave tube so in electronic warfare we use it it is also used in broadcasting see in broadcasting of signal you need high power television broadcasted signal and that could be generated using traveling wave tube right so traveling wave tube that is having broad range of applications based on available parameters i hope you have enjoyed this session still if anything that i would like to share just note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video